Hi, welcome to Travel Blog Podcast. This is Christina Weber from ChristinaWeber.com. Today's topic is arriving in Paris by plane. Usually it's quite easy to navigate in an airport as they have big signs and helpful staff. But there are some things you need to know when first arriving into Charles de Gaulle Airport. So, let's get started. When your plane has landed, it's wise to take things slowly. It's a big airport and getting lost may not seem possible, but with hordes of people moving around you and most probably lack of French language skill, you'll get carried away and frustrated. It's not the best feeling on your first day in this wonderful country, believe me. So, don't make your first impression of this country poor because of hastiness. Don't worry, your luggage comes within a very reasonable time frame and you'll make it, trust me. Public transport also moves frequently enough so that missing one will mean 15 minutes waiting time tops. Now that you have gathered your luggage and perhaps got a little bit irritated by French people being very easygoing, you need to move on, right? I don't know why they have made train station and terminal names so confusing. But remember that train station terminal 1 is in airport terminal 3 and train station on terminal 2 is between airport terminal 3 and 2. When you would think that terminal 1 should be the bigger one and the main one, it's not like this at all in fact. Train station on terminal 2 is the larger one with different ticket offices for DGV and RER trains. In there you also have a wide variety of Paris visiting cards made available to purchase. I advise you to choose the most convenient for you beforehand however since there aren't many information boards or leaflets in there anymore about the pros and cons of different cards. So if travelling by train the Terminal 2 is the place you should be heading. In case you have decided to take a bus or a taxi, or even get on a shuttle to go to the nearest hotel or car rental office, you are likely told to go to the gates. Let's say you need gate 26 to get on a public transport, then this means you should take the door number 26, which basically leads outside. The airport is big and different shuttles and buses stop at different locations, so getting through the right door is essential. Just for some unknown reason the doors are labelled as gates. Taxis, buses and shuttle transport is located just outside of the terminal. In case you are lost or confused, just ask the information desks, which are clearly marked and visible from far. Let's say you need to go to another airport terminal. To get from one terminal to another, I strongly encourage you to use the airport shuttle train. Just look for the sign CDG Val. You most probably need to go down a few levels to get on the train. You can use a lift or an escalator for this. And if you are somewhere in the airport and completely confused or lost and cannot decide where to go, find the closest eye sign. They have helpful staff and they can speak English if needed. Also nowadays there are information boards with touch screens which will show you on the map where exactly you are and where you should go. They even show routes which you should take. I hope you have enjoyed my podcast. Thank you for listening and please also check my travel blog at christinaweber.com. Bye!